What's up, YouTube? Listen, family, today was an absolute flat day in the market as the market awaits for tomorrow's CPI report, guys. That's just what it comes down to, okay? The market just was range bound today in such a manner that I ain't gonna even lie to you guys, I couldn't even make any decent trades that was worth the risk for today. And so therefore, I sat on my hands. I'm gonna wait till tomorrow. Hopefully, the CPI report gives us a lot of volatility in one direction or the other, okay? Whether it crashed the market tomorrow or whether we rally off of some better than expected CPI news, I will be ready because today gave me nothing. With that being said, guys, check this out. What stock market investors will be watching in Thursday U.S. inflation report? CPI reports have sparked some of the biggest one day stock market sell offs of 2022. And so if that happens, guys, I'm prepared. OK, I often talk about the trend is your friend. If the stock market sells off with the hotter inspected, hotter than expected CPI print on tomorrow, I'm going to be riding the market down. OK, point blank period. We ain't going to make no bones about it. OK, if the reverse happens and the market again starts to rally after this report i will be riding it up again i keep the game simple i make my money i get in and get out okay with that being said check this out guys the hotter than expected u.s consumer price index readings have triggered some of the stock market's biggest one day sell-offs in 2022 serving to focus investors attention ahead of the latest measure of retail inflation data on thursday september cpi reading from the bureau of labor statistics which tracks changes in the price paid by consumers for goods and services is expected to show an 8.1 percent rise from a year earlier slowing from an 8.3 rise year over year seen them in august check this out guys so long story short if this number comes in at 8.1 or don't let it come in hotter than 8.1 like 8.2 8.3 something higher and then still show that inflation isn't going down the market will sell off that's what happened to us last month okay we had a massive 17 dollar sell-off okay it was crazy if that again if these numbers come out crazy that same thing will happen but if we if we print a seven handle anything with a seven like 7.9 7.8 guys you can almost expect the market to rally the market is looking for anything to rally on and so i want you guys to watch this information closely as again 8 30 tomorrow morning a.m eastern time this report will come out and we will all see it together but again by 9 30 you'll have a clear picture of where the market is headed we'll either be crashing or we'll either be rallying but it'll be the move to either make us go another leg down or it'll again start another short-term rally before it's faded and sold back off that's just how the game go in a bear market with that being said guys let's go ahead and take a look at the spy because this is the only thing that i'll really be focused on okay how an index move especially off of a report like the cpi report is really what's going to be the whole focus for tomorrow all right so right now at the close of the day we're sitting at 357.27 okay we're sitting at 357.27 it closed on the day at 356.55 so this is a new intraday low for the year all right you have to make note and be mindful of those key things that's taking place okay do we hold this level or can we bounce from here that's the million dollar question okay however we will get our answer as early as 8 30 so that by 9 30 we'll have somewhat of a clear trading plan on what we need to do to capitalize off of it and to take full advantage of it okay so with the spy guys this is all i'll be watching okay it held 360 for the longest of time finally broke that and came down to 357 briefly tested 355 and 3 356 on a couple times throughout this week okay but with that being said what needs to be understood is that we will go a lot lower if we had a hotter than expected CPI print on tomorrow. I'm talking about like 350, possibly 347, that type of sell-off, okay? A, a whole $5, $10 move, all right? 
Now, again, I want you guys to be flexible and nimble, okay? That's one of my hallmarks of what I desire for you guys to be in this game because, again, you have to react to what you see. Nobody, on, definitely on CNBC and on Wall Street, is talking about a move to the upside. And so sometimes when everybody is bearish or all in one direction, sometimes the market has a tendency to do the opposite man and just change course on you okay so i told you earlier we're looking for any glimmer of hope any little bit of news that's somewhat positive to kind of rally off of and i wouldn't be surprised to see this thing take off okay it's been down the last six days it's just been a horrible year it's been just again beating down stock after beating down stock new 52 week low after new 52 week low the market is looking for a reason to rally let's see tomorrow at 8 30 a.m if we get any information that gives us that but over here guys i want you to react to what you see okay don't guess don't try to front run it i want you to wait and see the number come out for yourself and then be ready to make your moves off of that and guys if you uncomfortable with what you see if the market is too volatile if it happens to be that kind of day sit out and watch that's totally okay i am a firm believer in the power of taking mental reps in this game okay and, and sometimes you have to do that because sometimes it's just, again, just a little too wild to jump in the fire. OK, there's real money at stake that we are putting on the line. Although I say chances make champions, guys, it does. However, if you take a loss, that's the real dollars you're losing. OK, that's why I also want you guys to embrace paper trading. OK, until you get to a comfortable level in your skill set where you can take advantage of cpi reports and ppi reports and other little catalysts that come out throughout the year and throughout the trading time throughout the, the month okay with that being said though guys let's get ready for again this report because it will either give us our next leg down or it will give us a short-term rally in the near term all right listen guys i hope that was helpful listen we make videos like this every day so if you like this one make sure you check out the next one remember most people see the end result very few consider the journey do me a favor don't forget to like subscribe to the channel make sure you guys grab some free stock using my link below and i'll catch you guys in the next one peace